Hi there. This is Lori Edge Hughes of Two Hands Physiotherapy, and I am coming to you on September 24th from the heat wave in my backyard. I'm actually wearing a bathing suit top, but anyway, super hot. Um, for this Two Hands blog, I'm doing a video for you guys on ways that you can um, do some stuff at home for your shoulders and your neck and upper thoracic spine to help that region because we all tend to be sitting doing this a whole lot more on the computer in front of TV all the rest so we can all use a little bit of shoulder neck stuff um, I had done these videos for a different presentation so I'm gonna kind of edit them so they seem normal um, anyways, I hope this helps and you find some benefit in it and you feel groovy for these first uh, few days of fall. I was going to say spring. Okay, on with the show. Anyways, I just want to show you some things based on uh, some soreness I'm having um, and a uh, physio YouTube video that I watched. Anyways. I got thinking that, well, I got recognizing in my own body, you know, we spend so much time, all of us, doesn't matter what we're doing, but any healthcare person, you know, in this forward crunched position, working on a dog, bending over a dog for the vets, you know, doing surgery or anything like that. Everything is kind of a head forward, head down, shoulders rolled forward, arms in front, right? And that can really cause problems on our neck and our back. So the video I watched, first part, was um, it was all about reducing neck hump, which I'm going to put this in better terms as to saying improving your cervical and upper thoracic spine posture. So what they had done on their video is they recommended, they showed this product called the back pod or something like that, but I mean, whatever, it's just this gadget. And it's essentially, um, like essentially putting a ball of some sort um, on your back, right? Um, just below your neck. And what they had said is like, you find six points. So along, you know, one, two, three, my arms aren't long enough, one, two, three, all up in that area, and then lie back. So, okay, I have these pokey ones. This one used to be a full ball, but I must have been doing something too aggressive on it. Anyways, it collapsed, but it's great because now it's a half pod. Um, so I've got these three different size spiky balls. This is one of the dog's tennis balls, but it's got a good squish, so it might work out really well. And my blue balls. What are you thinking? Anyways, my blue balls. And actually, I really like my blue balls um, because I can do two sides at once. So I'm just going to show you with the blue balls first. Um, I don't want to put the other ones down because the evil puppy is on the floor right below me here, and I know she'll take off with whatever ends up on the floor. Okay, now, uh, this bed has some squish to it, so it should be all right if I just put these here, but if you go to lie on them, that's the next thing, you could put a towel down, or if you just have one on one side, you could put, could put a towel down, or this is a pillowcase, right? Good, easy thing. So we're gonna find a spot, okay. And I've got it on the upper, just, there we go. And the whole thing is, you find your spot and you just hang out there for, I would say a minute, maybe two, with the, with the ball in each spot. Because what we're trying to do is, accommodate for or stretch out years of this head forward posture, right? So the ligaments, okay, your ligaments there, your nuchal ligament and all the rest, really tough, all the interspinous ligaments, tough. You're going to, it's not, they're not, not going to stretch out easily or quickly. So you're going to have to do this multiple times every day, ideally, or twice a day. Uh, sorry, 
twice every second day is what I meant to say, um, and just stretch those out. Now, of course, if you're using the ball, let's see how we do here with the, oh, that's not bad. Okay, so what's kind of good with one side at a time is you can really get one spot focused and then play around with your arm position, okay? And you can see, do your arms rest down at the same, same stretchability, right? Do they come to the ground? Uh, if you do this, all the rest, right? Um, from side to side, is there a difference? I'm gonna move that down one. Okay, hang out this way. So, there you go, that's part one of uh, what you can do for your problems with your neck and your upper thoracic spine. Okay, now the next one I wanna show you, I have got to change position in here. So, hang on again so the last one we looked at you know using the balls to stretch yourself out this way now you're going to use a door frame and put your arms up there you're going to step into the door frame so that you stretch out your pecs okay the front of your chest and from here now uh, just some neck movement it doesn't matter what the neck movement is. Crunch, 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 crunch. Um, because that helps your neck to move and basically be in the proper position as it's moving and help the thoracic spine and the cervical thoracic junction be in the right place, okay? Did I buckle up? Yes, we're good. Whew. I thought I was slightly inappropriate. Now, you also want to play around with different arm positions. So a little bit up high. Okay, and again, remember, it's not just about the, the stretching in there. It's about the neck movement while you're stretching. Okay, so that way, that way. And then, whoo, arms down lower, stretch in again. Okay, movement like that. There you go. So that is two ways that you can stretch out your body to get better posture, help your neck, help your shoulders, and then the next one, so I'll get back to dogs after this, but this is just because I've been in so much pain and I thought, oh, I bet I'm not the only one. So the next one is just some simple exercises to strengthen shoulder muscles that will help keep your shoulders in the proper position so that we don't all get stuck in this roundy roundy posturing like this. Okay, so until next time. Cheers. So essentially, we've looked at ways to stretch um, and start getting things stretched out so that you can be in the right posture to help your neck and your back and your shoulders. And then I just want to touch on a couple of exercises that will help strengthen your shoulders. Now, there are muscles, that, what we're looking to do is get the muscles that internally and externally rotate your shoulders, okay? And in particular, we want to get subscapularis and teres major, because both of which can help draw your shoulders back, okay, and support the shoulders. They are the unsung heroes in your shoulder complex. So we'll start off, the easy one, with your TheraBand. Now I'm gonna snug your elbows tight into your rib cage. Alrighty, and externally rotate the shoulders. Keep your elbows at a 90 and externally rotate. Okay, it seems super simple. You're like, eh, I'm bored, but this one is good. Now I'm gonna, and you can also then, I don't have any, like I don't have something I can tie to, but if I had something I could tie to, then I could do my internal rotation as well, right? Okay, so if you've got your TheraBand, that's what you can do. Now you can also work on these, uh oh, there we go. You can also work on these muscles from sideline, okay? 
So if we're sidelining here, now, here's where I was at the gym and I'm doing this and the, on the cable pulleys and I'm like, oh my goodness. And this is where this began because I was like, I am like the, the you know, the weakling. I had little baby girly arms. I could not lift anything. Okay. So when I was doing my external rotation, okay, on the cable pulls, I'm like, oh my Lord, I can hardly do it. I was like, okay, this is a five pound weight. And it's like, this is actually really hard. Okay, now I can do, so this is a, this is my little baby weight. It's like three pounds, okay? And that's a workout. Like I'm still feeling it right now from that five pound weight. 45 cents, it's ridiculous. So like I can do, I can do a pull down of 100 pounds. I can pull back for 100 pounds. I can do, I can do flies of 70 pounds front and back. And I can do not even five pounds a couple times doing my rotations this way, that way. Okay, so doing that way, you've got your external. I forgot, I got all carried away. And then you can do this with the lowermost arm. And there's your internal. Oh, that one feels easier. I bet I'm less girly this way. Oh yes, I use my manly five pound weight. Alrighty, so. Oh damn, I'm just get it stuck in my hair. I feel like a disaster. Okay, there you go. So some really simple but important exercises for your shoulders to stabilize. I'm sitting on a weight to stabilize your shoulders, help provide a good base, even though it's way up here, but a good base for any arm movements. Those muscles need to be strong. <sighs> okay, that's it. Until next time, cheers. Okay, I hope you found that helpful and uh, it makes you feel fabulous all through fall. Till next time, cheers.